Now we're going to discuss the newest optional accessory to the Solaris Plus family, which is the Thermal Stim Probe. The Thermal Stim Probe is a unique uh, probe, which allows you to do three different modalities all at once. First, it's a soft tissue mobilization tool. Uh, with a multi-surface face, uh, allows you to, to dig or to scrape uh, into the tissue. Um, it also gives you the capability of raising the temperature head up to 112 degrees or down to 35 degrees. Having an accessory to the Solaris Plus device that allows you to run electrical stimulation through the head at the same time. Uh, this unique tool allows you to combine modalities and helping you save, save time and is more comfortable uh, for the patient. The setup for um, the thermal stim probe is quite easy. It is a probe accessory so we will hit the probe button and now I can set up my treatment time. This also allows me to choose which temperature I want to run whether hot or cold by changing the soft keys. Here you have a temperature gauge that is showing that it's working its way up to 112 degrees. Um, I can also run, as I mentioned before, electrical stimulation. So I can turn that portion on or off. Once I have my time set up and I've chosen the correct uh, temperature, whether it be hot or cold, now I hit start. Once I hit start, now I can use an electrode to place onto the patient. Once I place the electrode onto the patient, now um, I can use ultrasound gel to be able to couple uh, the electrical stimulation and use as a sliding glide uh, for the probe that's more comfortable for the patient. As I hit start, as I take my intensity up, now I'll take it up to patient comfort um, as I perform my soft tissue mobilization treatment. The thermal stim probe is a unique probe that allows you, as we mentioned, to do soft tissue mobilization, uh, change the temperature, hot or cold, as well as uh, perform electrical stimulation all at once. This tool allows you to do everything um, that will save you time as well as be more comfortable uh, for the patient.